Hey guys, what's up? So, these uh, just came in the mail from Amazon. They're both super cheap. So they look nearly identical. This is the uh, SKR 1.1 and this is the MKS Gen L 8-bit board. They're both made by uh, well, this actually was made by MakerBase but this one is made by uh, Bic, Big Tree Big Tree Tech but they look almost identical like, at least the layout here on the outside but the inside is a little bit different with the MOSFETs and uh, I'll put my uh, on the board so you can see a little bit here so let's take a quicker look, look at these things here and see what the difference is so this one was 25 bucks this one was 22 uh, that's the 8-bit version this, this is the 32-bit uh, version uh, in this area they seem like they're pretty identical uh, the footprint is exactly the same so that's cool so the the cases that actually work for the uh, Gen L that's the MKS Gen L box that should actually work with this uh, this version too the SD card is not going to work in there but you know right there but all right so let's take a look so this is the actually they did include an SD card see here and it says it's 128 meg so I don't know if that's correct or not but that's even that if they even make 128 meg cars I guess I'll find out okay so the reset switch is different in a different spot here on the uh, SKR it's over here MKS is over here these are in the same spots this is a little bit different here the pin layouts over here I guess in here and here I'll put them back to back. So the pin layout is a little bit different here. This says it's LCD SD SPI. So I guess this is you can actually use this to communicate with the steppers. So I'm actually going to be using uh, this on my ANET printer, the 30 unit version, on my ANET E10 mod heavily modified printer. And this actually I wanted to just kind of mess with and get this to go with my old printer bot. And because I actually have the Trinamic drivers, I'll be using these things. Yeah, I got two sets of Trinamic drivers. Uh, these are 2208, TMC 2208 drivers. I picked the 2208s because they uh, they run cooler and they were still a little bit more plug and play it seemed like than the uh, 2130s, 2160s. So, um... Yeah, I mean, I, I can't. I mean, I don't. Know, I don't know how all these boards are going to work. I mean, they're only twenty-five bucks, so it's not really like if this thing's totally suck, then it's not like the end of the world. So, but there's actually a lot of lot of support for the uh, eight version of this thing, the uh, Gen L. Uh, you know, lots of parts on uh, Thingiverse and also uh, lots of support on the internet. Even actually, Marlin has support for this board built into the uh, code. So. This one, like I said, this is, I'll, I'll be running Marlin 2.0 with this board. Um, so, so I got a cold here. I seem like I always have a cold, man. I don't know what the deal is. So this is actually looks a little bit different here. I'm assuming these are the MOSFETs. Could be wrong, but I use actually external MOSFETs. At least on my ANA, I use external MOSFETs. And then the, uh, because the, uh, the printer bot has such a small heated bed, I, I just run it through the actual board. So. Cool, well, not bad. I mean, like I said, I'm going to be experimenting with this in the future. So I'm also going to be uh, messing with the. Uh, I have a TFT uh, 32 touchscreen display color. So I'm going to try to get it to work with both these. And, uh, cool, not bad. So I'm going to have some fun here. Awesome.